everybody, it's me again, and welcome back to my replay of Assassin's Creed 2! Welcome to Serenissima Repubblica di Venezia! AKA Venice, or Venezia. You know, just do not trip over your tongue. First time we've been to Venice! I'm so happy, now I get to dye my clothes blue. We made it here with Leonardo da Vinci after we uh, met Caterina Sforza for the very first time. And went back to Desmond! And uh, so that, that was fun. First time we went back to Desmond since I started this playthrough, actually. We don't visit him very much in this game. But anyway, it's time to play now. Um, uh, what else did we do? Oh yeah, we had a really weird dream that involved Altair. <laughs> Last episode must have been like the dirtiest commentary I've ever made in an Assassin's Creed video. Or maybe in general. I'm very- I'm sorry. But anyway. Here's Leonardo looking through his stuff. Hello! Buddy pal! Oh! Oh! We get to get a tour! I remember! Buongiorno e ben arrivato! I'm Elvise! Senor Donna has asked that I escort you to the workshop. Oh. Are you ready? Molto grazie! Benvenuto! Ben... Benvenuto. That's what it is. I'm sorry, I messed that up. Benvenuto! Take a quick tour of Venice with Elvis. Elvise. Elvise. Whatever. Ah, Venezia. Wait, this guy has a database? He's a baggage handler. He's quite a handsome fellow, isn't he? A Venetian native, Elvis worked as a baggage handler for several years until convinced of Venice's superiority, he enlisted in the navy. Ooh. In 1500, he was tasked with defending the fortress of Modon from the Turks. After a heavy night of drinking, Elvis awoke to Turkish cannon fire bombarding the town. Panicking while running across the deck, he tripped, hit his head, and drowned. That's embarrassing. When it became clear Venice had lost the battle, he was accused of negligence by the ship's captain and erased from the logs of the navy. That's horrible! It was an accident! Oh man, that sucks! What a horrible fate to befall such a handsome man. Oh. What other place is as beautiful, as stable, as perfect? That's this guy right here. Oh man. Come, I will show you her wonders. Good, can we go? Like, Our stop? first stop. The Rialto Bridge. Behold the elegance with which she spans the Grand Canal. Rialto. A symbol of Venetian unity and pride. Unity! Database on this. Let's go ahead and just read the databases as we go through. The oldest and most famous bridge in Venice, the Rialto, is the dividing line between the districts of San Marco and San Polo. The bridge is notable not only for the size of its large arc, but also for its main walkway lined with shops and stalls, which was a vibrant strolling and meeting place for the community around it. Contrast that with today's Rialto, where crowds of tourists fight over cheap knockoffs of Venetian glass while some idiot attempts to spit off the edge of the bridge onto passing boats. Ah, uh, modernity. Indeed. Let us continue. Let's walk really fast. Here we are, San Giacomo di Rialto. Oldest church in Venezia. San Giacomo. Isn't she beautiful? And her- I cut you off, I'm sorry. Clock Tower, Magnifico, yes indeed. Originally founded in 1421, San Giacomo is believed to be the oldest church in Venice, although the current building was constructed around 1071. The 15th century facade is crowned with a magnificent 24-hour celestial clock. During the Renaissance, the church was typically used by the merchants in the nearby market as a place to stop and pray during the workday. At least, that's what they told their wives. <laughs> Good point! Magnifico! Magnifico, indeed. Come, come! There's more to see! Indeed, there is more. Alright, this is where this... Poor merchant gets fucked over big time. I think. Yeah. No other city can match the size of Venezia's markets, be it spices or silks, from near and far. There is. There is. You were told to stay home, but the rent is paid. I have every right to sell here. Emilio disagrees. Stop! No! Stop! Stop! Aww. Let us continue the tour. Elsewhere. Leonardo's face, he's like, is this a regular thing here? Yeah, I'm gonna have to deal with those guards. They have ruined his inventory. That sucks. Emilio Barbarigo. Barbarigo! I'm like, my voice is breaking. I gotta stop recording after this episode. Like, I swear to Christ. Hey, it's a workshop! Oh no, not quite yet. You're finding the little posing mannequin first. Look, isn't it amazing? Would you mind buying it for me? I have... I left my money with my bags. Hey! Oh! I'm your step, Corleone! Rosa, you took my money! Well, looks like I can't buy it for you just yet. This little posing mannequin is cute. I almost bought some of them too, but god, they're freaking expensive. If I could get Ezio to buy them for me, 
That'd be a different story. Oh. And here we have the Palazzo della Seta, home to Emilio Barbarigo. Normally, I'd suggest a closer look, but with the way things are now... Why? Yeah. What's happening? He is attempting to unify the merchants beneath a single banner. There has been resistance. Some of it violent. What kind of resistance? They say they're fighting for the people, for freedom or some such nonsense. But Giannate, if you ask me. Oh, it's that guy. They destroyed my stand. I demand compensation. Here you are, then. <clears throat> the Doge will know about this. I'll report you to the council. Good luck with that, my friend. What are you doing? You're under arrest for disrupting commerce. What? You just invented that. There's no such law. There is now. No, stop. Poor guy. Palazzo della Seta. Let's go ahead and read about this. Uh, there's not much to read. The home of Venice's most powerful merchant, Emilio Barbarigo. Work on Seta, as it is affectionately known by locals, was completed in 1450. The palazzo is a standout example of Venetian Gothic architecture, I'll say. Dark and imposing, yet light and airy at the same time. Quite accurate, indeed. Very much so. Wait, wait for me! I'm sightseeing, I'm coming! Okay, there we go. Sorry, woman. Bottega di Leonardo a Venezia. And now... I present to you your workshop, Sir Da Vinci. We spared no expense in its design. You will see, it is perfect, as if you never left Firenze. Uh, pretty much, I yeah. I wish you it's great success. Very, very similar. I hope you enjoy similar. Venezia as much as she enjoys having you. So, here we are. <laughs> we didn't give him any Exciting, money. isn't it? Care to come in? It may be later. I need to visit the Palazzo della Seta. Try and gain an audience with Emilio. As you wish. But should you find yourself with free time, or another codex page, don't hesitate to visit. My door is always open. Absolutely. Grazie, my friend. Thank you very much. Huggy time! Di nulla. I almost forgot that hug was there. As soon as it was like, grazie, my friend, I was like, shit, there's a hug coming up! <laughs> oh, we got another Templar video to watch. Emilio Babarigo. Titan of Venetian industry, terror of the underworld. Aided by his powerful family, he cornered the market through smart business practices such as edging out the competition and lobbying the government. He funded the Venetian police force almost single-handedly, keeping the streets safe from crime and his uh, finances tax-free. Emilio claims to be a supporter of the Republic. The problem is, once you own the police force, voting becomes, well, inefficient. As does, you know, opposition. Ooh. Damn. Yeah. Merchant guild leader and noble. Okay. And I believe Silvio Barbarigo is the one that we kill at the, the, the Mardi Gras masquerade, whatever. Oh, crap. I found this awesome place for you to explore and practice your skills. Santa Maria de Frari. I've marked it on your map. Thank you. Oh, that's a Templar hideout, I see. Another thing to do for shenanigans! I think I've unlocked all the areas now, so once we're done with this, maybe I can do some shenanigans videos if you guys want? Let me know if you guys want some open world shenanigans in AC2. I have 100%ed this game, so I've done literally everything there is to do in this game. So there won't really be any new reactions, but you know, for old time's sake, we can go and do some of this stuff if you want. I mean, I've already done the Auditory Crypt in part 12, I think. So, while I'm here, where's that? Oh, it's, got, it's up there, isn't it? Huh? Whoop! Am I incognito yet? I think I am. Gloriosa de Frari. Oh, that's what she was just telling me about. Let's go ahead and read about it. Built by Franciscan monk Santa Maria Gloriosa de Frari, or Frari for short, is the second largest church in Venice. Following the guidelines of St. Francis, who advocated poverty, the church has very basic exterior decoration. It is rumored that in the 15th century, the Frari was housed, housed a hidden tomb, which has since collapsed. Hmm. Something tells me it's not collapsed. <laughs> at least not yet, at this point in time. Where am I at? I got plenty of time. Fuck off. Then I can come. My name is just like yours. Hello. <laughs> I believe. I think 
that's a codex page, isn't it? I wasn't paying attention. I don't give a shit or a fuck. Damn it, right the last second. No! Escape! How do they still see me? Okay, now suddenly I've lost them. Alright. Now, to make my way to the marker outside the, the seta. How much money do I have? Ooh, wow, I get money fast in this game. Let's get another pair of armor just because. Helmschmade. Let's get some new fan braces for the time being. Uh, anything to repair? Ammunition? Smoke bomb back. All right, that that'll do. do. I hope. And please come back often. I will. Thank you very much. Say look at our new van braces that blend into our shirt. Yeah. Now we look cool. All right, here we are. Ooh, let's get this poster first. There we go. All right, Rosa, show me what you can do. How best to get inside? I'll scale the wall and oh, that's not good. I'll never make that jump. Need to find another way. She used to be an adventurer like me, and then she took an arrow to the. Ooh. Ah! There we go. <laughs> Said it a little early. Right through the knee. Man, that's really got hurt. She's still running on it, too. Hey, I, need you. I remember you. We need to go. You never did apologize for knocking me over. Or no. taking my money. Babane, where to? The water. That doesn't exactly narrow it down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot about that line. <laughs> uh, you guys know that line, so I don't need to explain. Okay. That's gonna leave a mark, yeah, I'll say. No. Come any closer and I'll cut you to pieces. Ah, fuck in my life! I could use a smoke bomb, but that's not fun. Ah. Combo! I got your back, Rosa! Duh. Oh, Jesus, Rosa! I'm so sorry! You can make it. I have to protect you a little better. You've already lost one diamond to health. What are you doing? Hurry up! I'm right behind you! High maintenance, woman. Cut these legs off! I'll you Who wants to die first? Him, apparently. I will greatly oblige! Take off right now. The other way. Order. Fear not. I'll make sure each of you dies quickly. Oh, we got a staff man here now. Ah! Sorry. Getting closer. They really should have come up with more things for her to say during this sequence. She repeats every line at least four times before you reach the end of it. Like, seriously. It's goddamn archers. What, what are you doing? doing? Hurry up! Hurry up! <laughs> and quickly, they're getting closer. Oh god, we got a big man now. Oh, thank you very much, Thief! You won't 
That worked out way better than expected. Hurry up. Looks like you're limping a little harder now. Exactly. It's the exact same three lines like four times. Oh, she's not doing too good. Uh, yeah. Woman. Something wrong with your leg, boy. Right. What's the plan? Can you walk? I've got to carry you. Ah, uh, jeez, got my leg. Fine little blade. Maybe I'll pick my teeth with you. I never did catch your name. Rosa. Oh, wrong way. Colorado Rosa. I'm Ezio. No. Well. What do you mean I know? No, no, Ora. Now is not the time for small talk. Are you blind? Oh, shoot. I wasn't blind until just about now. There you go, Rosa. Some bodies to keep you warm. There you go. Kill him! Oh, yeah, that was coming for me. Can you give me a second to get to you? Jesus Christo. God damn it. Over there. Pick her up. No, not that! Hey. Fuck. Hey. Ah! Oh my god! Mother Humper! Jesus, there we go! Alright, continuing down this way. Help us out, buddies. Oh no. Ha! Are you afraid? Ow! That wasn't very nice. Somebody hit me! Thank you, I was getting bored. Yeah! Ezio, what are you doing? I am fighting off the people that are trying to kill us, if you don't mind. Jesus Christ! <coughs> My throat. I seriously, I need to stop after I'm done. Actually, I'm almost done. As soon as we get Rosa back to her place, I'm gonna need to stop. What's this? Rosa's been wounded. <laughs> he looks like Josie Reed. We'll go the rest of the way in the boat. Yeah. Careful. Oh, Go. you fuckheads. I'll deal with the guards. I shall deal with the guards. When do I get the hidden gun, by the way? I know it's after we get to Venice. And it's right around this area, too, I think, where I get Kill to... Kill them, Ezio, quickly! I'm working on it, damn it! Where's the last one? Over there! Move! I can't run too far ahead, either, which kind of sucks, because they are really slow. Clear the way for us. I am working on it, but like I can't get too far away from you. That's the problem. There we go. Nice. Need to get close enough. There we go. Oh, I guess it didn't take. There we go. Come on, guys. They're all over the rooftops. Do something quickly. Like literally the rooftops. No, they're right there. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. There we go. There he is. Ah, oh, crap, I'm notorious. Working on it. Hello. Who else wants a piece of this? Cut him off. <laughs> That's one way to get rid of guards. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Okay. Come on, guys. We're almost there. I think. I really wish they'd go faster. They're shooting at us. I figured as much for myself. While I wait. Where are they? There they are. They're still shooting at us. I uh, know, I'm working on it. 
Oh no, wait, I remember these guys. Oh yeah! Coast is clear. Oh, look, they're cheering at me. Okay, I think we duck it over here. You have to show us some of your tricks, Fiora. Uh, perhaps after you show me some of yours. Oh, we're not going in here like I thought. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> this is a nice view. A very nice view. Beautiful. Bella. I don't, I don't freaking know. There aren't even any more guards to entertain myself with. I just have to pace myself so that I don't lose these guys. Oh, now we're going in there. Okay. So I can wait for them inside. I can't dive into the water. Alright. Took care of it for me. Yay! Oh, one of the thieves on the boat died. He's dead, idiota. Say a prayer later. Porco, I need to see. I need to see Antonio. Be careful. Yeah, I bet that hurts. Let me do it. Go and find Antonio. Go, go do what he says. Qual'ultimo arrivato dagli ordini? Oh, believe it, buddy. Believe it. Gotta go pick you up now. Come on. Hey, hey, wake up. Don't die, me woman! I feel like I'm walking into we the court of miracles. <laughs> that is a hunchback of Notre Dame. Where's Antonio? Joke. Make yourself useful. Clear a space for her. Put her down there. Did that really need to be a cutscene? Could have done all that while I was walking over here, just saying. All right, now, doctor work. Get the rubber oh, gloves on. They've seen for help. Oh, thank you. Rosa, what's happened? Just get this out of me. Soon, soon. Let's have a look first. Clean entry and exit to the thigh. That's good. Get oh. it out! Rosa, we must take care of... Now! Come here, boy. Tenetela. I don't know what button to press first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Piccola. Sorry! Piccatelo nel polo, I'm sorry! Go fetch Bianca and be quick. Help me with this. How? Take a clean piece of linen. Okay. I'm on my toes. When I remove my hand, press the cloth into her wound. Are you ready? No. Now. Eh. Ben Fox, you work well under pressure. <laughs> Do I? She's spirited this one. Porca puttana! Avan, son of... Get Rosa inside oh so that God. Bianca can close the wound. How did all right. The worst is put on up. Venisi cancello, Pick up a whore. bastardo. You... Che la grandissima troia di tua madre. You Thank told you. him to do it. Rosa is most dear to me. If I had lost her. I've always had a soft spot for women in distress. So I've heard. Don't look Cue so all surprised. the screaming fangirls. You know all about you, said Ezio. Your work in Florence and the rest of Tuscany. Good work, too. If a little unrefined. Then you know why I'm in Venezia. I can guess. When you have a minute, come see me in my office. There's something we should discuss. Very well. But I have to pause the episode first, because I'm way over time. So, I hope you guys are enjoying my replay of Assassin's Creed 2. Yeah, oh, fuck it. Let's read this one last database entry. Gilda dei Ladri di Venezia. Established sometime around 1465, the Venetian Thieves' Guild, due to its illegality, had no permanent headquarters. Although efforts were made by the magistrates to crack down on thievery, accused culprits never seemed to be around when the city guard went searching for them. Didn't need to read that at all. That's pretty much <laughs> that's pretty much a given. But anyway, I gotta end this episode right now. So, I hope you guys are enjoying my replay of Assassin's Creed 2. Like and favorite if you are, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in my next video. Farewell, friends.